As the AO5 Film Festival draws to an end, some of the most anticipated movies continue to premiere. Disney's animated musical flick Moana made its debut along with director M. Night Shyamalan's Split and the biopic Jackie. But it was La La Land, the American romantic musical comedy, which fit right at home in Los Angeles. What, Maui? A boat! A boat! Disney's latest animation, Moana, embraces Polynesian mythology and culture. Demigod of the wind and sea. The film kicked off its world premiere in Los Angeles. It debuted as part of the American Film Institute's annual event, celebrating cinema. I am Hero a... of men. Wh what? It's actually Maui shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea. The musical tells the story of an adventurous teenage girl who sails out on a bold and daring mission to save her people. Along her journey, Moana meets the once mighty demigod Maui, played by none other than wrestler-turned-actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm raised by women, I'm surrounded by women, I have two daughters, I have a house full of women, that's it. Me and my dog are the only two guys in the house. So yes, I'm all about girl power, I'm all about having a strong point of view with women, I'm all about, uh, I'm all about diversity, I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all those things, yes. People like to believe in fairy tales. And speaking of powerful women, Jackie also had its LA premiere after debuting at the Venice Film Festival earlier this year. Natalie Portman is cast in the title role of First Lady Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy. The film follows her in the days when she was First Lady in the White House and her life following the 1963 assassination of her husband, President John F. Kennedy. I will march with Jack, alone if necessary. I was very um, impressed by um, how she was able to, even in a very difficult private moment, understand the importance of her image to an entire nation and you know make make choices that that would help a nation not just not just you know her own private grief that she was going through i've never seen a case like this before split is certainly the perfect name for a movie that follows a man with 23 different personalities Played by James McAvoy, the main character Kevin fights to shut out Patricia, one of his personalities who's determined to abduct three teenage girls. Maybe she can help us. Don't worry. He knows what you're here for. He's not allowed to touch you. He knows that. Mm -mm. X-Men star McAvoy premiered the movie at the AFI Festival along with director M. Night Shyamalan. He praised critics and audiences for keeping the end a secret after its debut at Fantastic Fest. All the journalists, all the bloggers and all the reviewers there made an agreement in the room while we were there that they would not um, come out and, and, and spread the word. And, um, and almost to the point where they would be vilified publicly by the, the community if they did do that because it's so much of a treat. For the people who will get it, it's a big treat. But the La La Land crew were the happiest out of all to bring their movie home to Los Angeles. Director Damien Chazelle's musical love story unites Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling for a third time. It's about a jazz pianist and an aspiring actress who meet and fall in love in the City of Angels. I think everyone's love story is a little different probably with LA. Um, it's a city of a lot of ups and downs and I think those are reflected in the film and that was what Damien wanted to make was a kind of you know a mixed bag love story about this crazy city. The AFI Film Festival's 30th edition will close on Thursday. The event is known for screening many Oscar contenders who later go on to win the Golden Statue. We'll have to wait and see if the same happens during the upcoming Oscars in February.